Welcome, dear listeners, to another episode of our Scientific Exploration Podcast. Today, we're embarking on an extraordinary journey, a journey that will take us beyond the confines of our home planet, Earth, and into the vast, mysterious expanse of our universe. Our journey will take us to the farthest corners of the cosmos, where we will explore the unique and fascinating characteristics of various celestial bodies. From ocean planets composed mainly of water and ice, to planets that are potentially more habitable than Earth, we'll be uncovering the secrets these celestial bodies hold. We'll also be discussing the intriguing possibility of life on other planets. Could there be life forms out there, waiting to be discovered? Or are we alone in this vast universe? The answers to these questions could fundamentally alter our understanding of life and our place in the cosmos. But our journey doesn't stop there. We'll also be exploring planets that are slowly being devoured by their stars, and planets that are covered in burning ice despite their extreme heat. Each of these celestial bodies, in their own way, challenges our understanding of what a planet can be. So, buckle up, listeners, as we set off on this cosmic adventure. We'll be traveling billions of miles, exploring planets thousands of times larger than Earth, and delving into mysteries that have puzzled scientists for centuries. This journey promises to be a thrilling ride filled with awe-inspiring discoveries and mind-boggling phenomena. Let's unravel the mysteries of the universe together. So, imagine for a moment a world where water isn't just a fraction of the planet's composition, but a staggering 40-60% of it. Imagine diving into an ocean where the depth can exceed 60 miles, a depth so profound that our Earth's deepest point, the Mariana Trench, seems like a shallow puddle in comparison. The pressure in these depths would be enormous, reaching up to 20,000 Earth atmospheres. Welcome to the concept of ocean planets, celestial bodies that are composed mainly of water, ice, and perhaps a few rocks. But what makes these ocean planets even more intriguing is their potential abundance in our galaxy. Scientists' calculations suggest that there may be many such planets in our galaxy alone. And we don't even have to venture far into the cosmos to find these water-dominated bodies. Even within our own solar system, moons like Jupiter's Ganymede and Callisto, and Saturn's Titan and Enceladus, hint at the possibility of such water-rich environments. As we delve into the mysteries of these ocean planets, we're not just exploring new worlds, but we're also exploring the very essence of life as we know it. Water, the life-giving elixir, the cradle of life on Earth, could it also be the cradle of life elsewhere in the universe? Let's talk about it. The question of life beyond Earth has captivated human imagination for centuries. As we gaze up at the night sky, we can't help but wonder, are we alone in this vast cosmos? Or is there life, in some form or another, on distant planets orbiting distant stars? The possibility of life on other planets is not just a matter of science fiction, but a scientific possibility. We know that water is a key ingredient for life as we understand it. And there are planets out there, in the habitable zones of their stars, where conditions might just be right for water to exist. These planets, often referred to as Goldilocks planets, are neither too close nor too far from their stars, but just right for potentially supporting life. But what kind of life could we expect to find? It's unlikely to be full-fledged civilizations, but rather simpler forms of life. Bacteria, perhaps, or maybe even something more complex like fish. And who's to say there couldn't be some strange alien creatures that defy our current understanding of life? However, it's important to remember that water alone isn't enough to create life. There also need to be certain microelements and minerals. For many water planets, their composition might consist only of water and very thick ice, with no minerals present. But there's still a glimmer of hope. Meteorites and comets could potentially deliver the necessary minerals to these planets, and some planets, like Toy 1452b, might already have these minerals. But if there are planets like ours, could they be even better? More than 4,000 of them discovered so far that aren't just similar to Earth, they might be even better. These celestial bodies have conditions so favorable that they could potentially be more comfortable than our own planet. Let's talk about a few of them. In the constellation Cygnus, there lies a planet that has captured the attention of scientists and space enthusiasts alike, KOI 5715.01. This planet is not just another celestial body in the vast cosmos, 
but a world that holds the potential for conditions more favorable than our own Earth. KOI 5715.01 orbits an orange dwarf, a star slightly smaller and less luminous than our Sun. But this doesn't mean that life on KOI 5715.01 would be in perpetual twilight. In fact, if the planet is closer to its star and has a thicker atmosphere, it could be even lighter and more colorful than Earth. One of the most fascinating aspects of KOI 5715.01 is its age. At about 5.5 billion years old, it's slightly older than our Earth. This age is significant because it means that the planet has had ample time to potentially develop life. KOI 5715.01 is located in a habitable zone, a region around a star where conditions could be just right for life as we know it. A year on this planet lasts 190 days, and it's almost two times larger than Earth. The average temperature is 52 degree F, slightly cooler than Earth's average, but it likely feels warmer due to its strong gravity, which helps it retain heat in the atmosphere longer. However, KOI 5715.01 is not just around the corner. It's located about 3,000 light years from Earth, but despite these challenges, the study of KOI 5715.01 and planets like it continues to provide us with invaluable insights into the potential for life beyond Earth. Venturing further into the cosmos, we encounter 2I1452b, a planet that presents a unique set of characteristics. Unlike many other planets, 2I1452b orbits not one, but two red dwarfs. This dual star system sets the stage for a celestial dance that is as fascinating as it is complex. TOI 1452b is unique in its composition. While many ocean planets might consist only of water and very thick ice, TOI 1452b likely has a rocky surface deep under the water, similar to the ocean floors on Earth. This rocky surface could potentially provide the necessary conditions for life to develop. However, TOI 1452b is not a close neighbor. It's located very far from its stars, 2.5 times farther than Pluto is from the Sun. Despite this distance, the planet moves at a great speed, with a year on TOI 1452b lasting only 11 days. While there's still much we don't know about TOI 1452b, the information we do have paints a picture of a world that is both intriguing and promising. As we continue to study this planet, we look forward to uncovering more about its potential to harbor life and its role in our understanding of the universe. Now let's talk about those planets that are the strangest when compared to planet Earth. In the vast expanse of the cosmos, there exists a planet that defies our understanding of what a planet should be. This is Tres 2b, a gas giant that is more massive than Jupiter and has a unique characteristic. It absorbs light better than charcoal. Tres 2b is a world where night never ends, but this is not a night filled with twinkling stars and a glowing moon. Instead, it's a pitch-dark, scorching hot environment that is as fascinating as it is intimidating. The surface of Tres 2b is so dark that it absorbs almost all light, making it one of the darkest planets ever discovered. But the darkness of Tres 2b is not its only extreme feature. The planet's air is as hot as fresh lava, creating an environment that is both hostile and intriguing. Despite the intense heat, Tres 2b might also have a faint dark red glow, adding a touch of eerie beauty to this otherwise dark world. Next on our list is a very interesting planet. In the star system of 55 Cancri, there exists a planet that is unlike any other. This is 55 Cancri E, a world that is both fascinating and terrifying in its extremity. 55 Cancri E is so close to its sun that half the planet's surface is a literal ocean of molten lava. This creates an environment that is unimaginably hot and volatile. The other half of the planet is in eternal darkness, never seeing the sun due to the planet's orientation. This results in a stark contrast, with one half of the planet ablaze and the other shrouded in perpetual night. Between the scorching and the dark, there's the twilight zone, a thin strip of gloomy nothingness, this zone represents the extreme contrast of 55 Cancri E, a planet that is both burning and freezing, illuminated and dark. The study of 55 Cancri E provides us with valuable insights into the extreme conditions that can exist on other planets. 
It's a reminder of the incredible diversity of the universe and the wide range of environments that can exist on other worlds. As we continue to explore the cosmos, planets like 55 Cancri E continue to captivate us, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and imagination. After all the planets that can be intimidating, let's talk about a beautiful planet that seems so only at first glance. This is HD 189733b, a planet that presents a stunning spectacle of blue and white swirls from afar, but up close, reveals a world of extreme conditions. HD 189733b is the only exoplanet in the orbit of its star, and at first glance, it appears quite beautiful. The blue and white swirls that adorn its surface create a mesmerizing pattern that might remind one of a serene ocean planet. But this serene appearance is deceptive. The pleasant colors of HD 189733b actually come from hard silicate particles in the planet's atmosphere, which means it rains glass here. But this is not a gentle rain. The winds on HD 189733b reach the speed of 5,400 miles per hour, or almost Mach 7. For comparison, the fastest wind speed on Earth was 254 miles per hour, over 20 times less. Thus, the glass falling from the sky travels horizontally at hypersonic speeds, shredding everything in its path. Would you want to hear about space system being destroyed by their own sun? In the constellation of Virgo, there exists a celestial system that is as fascinating as it is deadly. This is the system of PSRB, 1257 plus 12, a pulsar that is slowly destroying its planets. A pulsar is a highly magnetized, rotating neutron star that emits beams of electromagnetic radiation. PSRB 1257 plus 12 is one such pulsar, and it has three planets in its orbit. These planets are unique in that they are the first extrasolar planets ever discovered, and they orbit a star that is slowly but surely destroying them. The planets of PSRB 1257 plus 12 are bathed in intense radiation from the pulsar, which is slowly eroding their surfaces. This radiation is so intense that it's stripping away the planet's material, turning them into dust and gas. Over time, these planets will likely be completely destroyed, leaving only the pulsar behind. And now we're going to talk about a planet that managed to survive the impossible. In the constellation Cygnus, there exists a planet that has endured a cosmic ordeal of epic proportions. This is Kepler-70b, a planet that survived being consumed by its star, but is now slowly evaporating. Kepler-70b orbits a subdwarf B star, a type of hot blue star that is smaller than the sun. This planet is unique in that it has survived a phase of its star's life where it expanded into a red giant, engulfing the planet in the process. But Kepler-70b survived this fiery ordeal, emerging on the other side as a testament to the resilience of celestial bodies. However, Kepler-70b's trials are not over. The planet is now slowly evaporating due to the intense heat from its star. This evaporation is causing the planet to lose its mass, transforming it into a gas that is slowly being blown away by the star's radiation. This planet is a testament to the incredible diversity of the cosmos and the wide range of environments and scenarios that can exist on other worlds. We have three more planets left that are sure to surprise you. But we keep going and we still have three more amazing planets in store that you're sure to find interesting. In the constellation Auriga, there exists a planet that is undergoing a slow and dramatic demise. This is WASP-12b, a gas giant that is slowly being devoured by its star. WASP-12b is a hot Jupiter, a type of gas giant that orbits very close to its star. This close proximity is causing the planet to be slowly consumed by its star. The intense gravitational forces are pulling the planet apart, causing it to lose material to the star. This process is not a quick one. It's estimated that WASP-12b will take about 10 million years to be completely devoured. But in cosmic terms, this is a relatively short period of time. The slow destruction of WASP-12b is a dramatic demonstration of the life cycle of celestial bodies and the extreme conditions that can exist in the universe. But we haven't yet told you about one of the most amazing planets. In the constellation Leo, there exists a planet that defies our understanding of physics and chemistry. This is Gliese 436b, a Neptune-sized planet that is extremely hot, yet covered in burning ice. Gliese 436b is located very close to its star, which makes it extremely hot. 
with temperatures reaching up to 822 degree F. Yet, despite this intense heat, the planet is covered in a type of ice known as hot ice, or ice X. This ice doesn't melt even in the extreme heat due to the high pressure that keeps it in a solid state. The last planet on your list will be from our solar system. Yes, you should know it and probably guess which planet we are going to talk about now. We're going to talk about Venus, often referred to as Earth's evil twin. This moniker is not without reason. Venus, the second planet from the Sun, presents a stark contrast to the relatively hospitable conditions of our home planet. Venus is shrouded in a thick, dense atmosphere, so heavy that it exerts a pressure nearly 100 times greater than Earth's at sea level. This atmosphere is not composed of benign gases, but rather, it's a toxic cocktail filled with clouds of sulfuric acid. These clouds are not the fluffy white formations we're familiar with on Earth. Instead, they are corrosive and deadly, capable of inflicting severe damage to any terrestrial life form. The surface of Venus is an inferno, with temperatures soaring higher than those on Mercury, the planet closest to the Sun. This intense heat is a result of a runaway greenhouse effect, where the heat from the Sun is trapped within Venus's atmosphere, causing temperatures to rise to a scorching 900 degrees Fahrenheit. This makes Venus the hottest planet in our solar system. Volcanic activity thrashes Venus constantly, with evidence suggesting that the planet is covered in more volcanoes than any other planet within our solar system. These volcanoes spew out molten rock, further contributing to the hellish landscape. After you've gotten to know all the planets we wanted to tell you about, let's talk about the future they can give us. Now, we stand on the threshold of a new era, an era that promises to take us further into the universe than ever before uncovering new celestial bodies and revealing more about the mysteries of the cosmos. The future of space exploration is not just about reaching farther into the cosmos, but also about delving deeper into the mysteries of our own solar system. From the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn, which may harbor subsurface oceans, to the intriguing possibility of microbial life on Mars, our own cosmic backyard still holds many secrets waiting to be discovered. In the coming years, we can expect to see missions that will take us back to the Moon, and eventually, to Mars. These missions will not only expand our understanding of these celestial bodies, but also pave the way for potential human colonization in the future. Beyond our solar system, the hunt for exoplanets will continue, fueled by advancements in telescope technology. We will not only be looking for more planets, but also for signs of life on these distant worlds. The discovery of biosignatures, or signs of life, on an exoplanet would be a groundbreaking achievement, fundamentally altering our understanding of life in the universe. The future of space exploration also holds the promise of technological advancements that we can't even imagine today. From propulsion systems that could take us to the stars, to technologies for surviving in the harsh conditions of space, the possibilities are endless. As we conclude this journey through the cosmos, we are left with a sense of awe and wonder. We've explored a variety of celestial bodies, each with its unique characteristics and mysteries. From ocean planets composed mainly of water and ice, to planets that are potentially more habitable than Earth, each celestial body we've discussed presents a unique piece of the cosmic puzzle. We've delved into the possibility of life on other planets, especially those in the habitable zones of their stars. We've explored planets that are slowly being devoured by their stars, and planets that are covered in burning ice despite their extreme heat. Each of these celestial bodies, in their own way, challenges our understanding of what a planet can be. The universe is a vast and diverse place, filled with an endless array of celestial bodies, each with its own story to tell. As we continue to explore the cosmos, we look forward to uncovering more of these stories, and to pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and understanding. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the cosmos. We hope that you found it as fascinating and enlightening as we have. Until next time, keep looking up and keep exploring. The universe is full of wonders waiting to be discovered. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.